This morning, parts of Wisconsin cleaning up the damage after severe weather and tornado ripped through parts of the state. I'm Josh Breider live with a closer look at the damage. That damage is spread across the state this morning. We'll show you some of the hardest hit communities. And aside from that, we're also going to be showing you a bit of a better picture as we're starting off our day much more quiet. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynchide. Breaking news overnight. The mayor of Mostyn declaring yesterday's reported tornado and strong winds a disaster. Josh Breider is live in Mostyn this morning. He is where the worst of the damage is. He is showing us around town this morning. Josh, what can you show us now? Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, we're on the south side of Mawson right now. You can see the Mile Bluff Medical Center right behind me. This is where we've seen some of the worst damage. Highway 58 right here. This is where you can see the sign toppled over along with snapped trees, snapped power lines. You can almost see as if where this possible tornado would have moved through from the Juneau County Fairgrounds to Veterans Memorial Baseball Fields across Highway 58 and heading straight towards the city of Mawson itself. You mentioned earlier today that uh, the mayor of Mawson declaring an emergency for his community. That means the Wisconsin Emergency Management uh, Association has been stepping in to help them with some of the damage. Working to do right now is to assess current conditions as they are on the ground and determine what resources may be needed from the state in, in order to help assist with those local responses. Highway 58 behind me was closed down for a period of time overnight, but has since reopened as clues are cleaning up that damage. I just spoke to a nurse here at the medical center. She came out to find her back windshield smashed this morning from either the wind, hail, or debris. She's not even sure what happened, but she said the storm moved in very, very quickly last night. Of course, we are out here uh, taking a look at that damage this morning. The National Weather Service will be out here to assess the situation and decide whether or not it was indeed a tornado that moved through this community last night, guys. I would not be surprised at all. Those trees behind you just sawn off. Josh Breider live in Mostyn this morning. Thanks, Josh. About 30 minutes north of Mostyn, uh, another possible uh, tornado hit uh, up in Toma yesterday. Video here uh, showing several power poles on their sides and traffic being rerouted because of multiple overturned semis on the interstate. Just outside of Toma, some viewer video here from rural Wyville. You can see the debris scattered around yards, down trees, and damaged power lines here as well. The State Emergency Operations Center is operating at a level three this morning, so they will be helping local agencies assess the damage. Here in Madison, strike crews continue answering non-stop calls, collecting almost 120 tons of brush this week, and that number certain to rise after last night. Crews are planning to prioritize trees that block any roadways, and they're working as quickly as they can to get things back to normal. We have crews staying late today picking up brush. We got more, plenty more sitting out there as well. So it's gonna be a few days because there's a lot to get, but we'll get it. Just, you know, a little bit of patience, we'll get there. Staff is being diverted from other duties to handle brush collection. Once collected, they'll make free mulch that people can pick up. So far, they've taken more than 400 individual tree calls. All right, so National Weather Service has yet to confirm a few things. Julian C. right here is now uh, telling us what we do know this morning. Hey there, Julian. And what we do know is that what we all expected, this was a widespread event from north to south, west to east. As we could see, plenty of wind damage reports are on our map as of right now, and those are confirmed wind damage reports. Outside of it, we do have the hail, which was really clustered into La Crosse and concentrated its way into where Josh is as of right now in Mawson. But we could see just north of the Dells. That's where we looked at and saw plenty of high winds and damaging winds, and that's where the uh, real source of a lot of those reports are at as of right now. See where Josh is in the city of Mawson alone. We looked at three separate areas within that city where we were looking at high damage reports from wind just from the storms that swept through yesterday. And here's a couple of photos from viewers that have sent, been sent in to us. This is from Arlene Cattle in Mawson as this large tree has been completely ripped out of the ground and toppled over. 
over. Another, we have downed trees, multiple downed trees on top of a car, which is completely totaled. <laughs> totaled, honestly, might be a bit of an understatement of what's happened to that car. It's completely not even recognizable at this point. And then just down the street from me, even though here in Dane County we didn't have much in terms of damages, we did have some downed trees just down the road from where I live in Fitchburg alone. It just kind of gives you a scale of how much widespread the damage was and those storms that swept through Wisconsin itself. We'll switch gears into taking a look at what we're going to be expecting for today because the good news is, folks, we are looking at much more blue skies in the days ahead. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Julian. Developing here in Madison this morning, we are still waiting for official word on what happened at Marcus Point Cinema last night. Yeah, maybe you noticed this police presence. Madison police spending hours at the movie theater surrounding the entire building at one point. Our crews counted at least 12 squads, an ambulance and a fire truck. Kelsey Sutton came early to see a movie with her sister, but never got to go in. We asked her what she saw. At one point they went in with, uh, there was two officers that went in with rifles um, and then one with a uh, riot shield. And then we've just been watching that as people were slowly trickling out. Madison police are not answering questions on the nature of the incident this morning. They did release a police incident report about a nearby crash about an hour beforehand. A stolen silver sedan crashed just across the street from the theater on the Beltline near Mineral Point Road. Five people fled into a nearby business. Officers later took him into custody. We've been reaching out to Madison police. At this point, they cannot confirm if the crash and the incident at Marcus Point are related. We do expect to hear more from police on the incident today, and we'll continue to ask them questions. When we get anything newsworthy, we will push that out through our Channel 3000 mobile app. If you don't have it, you can find it wherever you get your apps. Happening today, the January 6th House Committee will be holding its third hearing about the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Today's hearing is expected to focus on former Vice President Mike Pence, who faced multiple threats from Trump supporters that day. Retired conservative federal judge Michael Ludig is expected to testify about aiding Pence in resisting Trump's pressure campaign to delay or block the congressional certification of Joe Biden's victory. That effort took place even as lawyers in the White House counsel office told the president that Pence did not have the authority to overturn the election results. We are getting a preview of some of the video that will be shared during today's meeting. The select committee releasing surveillance video from a tour of the Capitol the day before the attack. The tour was led by Republican Congressman Barry Loudermilk. In the video, you can see some of the guests recording locations around the Capitol. The next day, one of the tourists was seen making threats to members of Congress as he joined the rioters. Representative Loudermilk, though, denies any wrongdoing. No one in that group showed that type of aggression that day. I mean, they were just they were just here visiting. The U.S. Capitol Police, after reviewing the video, did release a statement saying, quote, we do not consider any of the activities we observed as suspicious. Now, today's proceedings starts at noon. CBS News will broadcast it as a special report right here on News 3 Now. Let's check back in with Jillian C. right now with your certified most accurate forecast looking ahead after last night's severe weather. That's right, and it's blue skies ahead for us. That's the great news for us as we're waking up our Thursday morning. Plenty of sunshine, plenty of blue, a little bit hazy outside here in Madison as we're still dealing with a little bit of some humidity for us. But as we continue throughout the rest of today, right now, 66 degrees, we're going to feel a bit warm, but the winds are going to start to pick up, bringing in a bit more of that warmth for us as we get into the rest of our afternoon. But plenty of us are are not looking at much in terms of fog, but there are some areas of patchy fog just into the southwest corridor between Platteville and Mineral Point. So just be careful when traveling this morning when you're heading out the door. But we've seen a significant change over the last 24 hours. It just kind of highlights how warm it was yesterday. Double digit decrease in temperatures, even though we're still waking up into the 60s. Yesterday <laughs> just goes to show you we're pretty much into the 80s at this time yesterday. Now, as we take a look at planning out the rest of today, plenty of sunshine, plenty of blue skies and the warm will be back, but it won't be nearly as muggy as it has been over the past couple of days. Now, with the cold front that has swept through, has brought those temperatures down just a bit, but we are going to be watching for another one that's on its way going into our Friday, which will bring us back to a bit more of a spring-like and seasonable temperatures for us around this time of year. But throughout the rest of today, it's going to be breezy, but it's going to be quiet, folks, as we see temperatures into the middle 80s, plenty of sunshine and blue skies, and as we transition into our Friday morning, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing to kick off 
the last day of our work week. Now, aside from that, if you're ready for the holiday weekend, I can see why, because it's going to be gorgeous on Saturday. 75 degrees, plenty of blue skies once again. And then for Father's Day, a bit warmer, a bit more summer-like, but plenty of grill-like weather for us. We're still looking at plenty of sunshine, and on top of it, 84 degrees. Not too bad after the week that we've kind of had, guys. I'm kind of looking forward to a bit quiet conditions here and to report for us. Now, I don't know about ideal. your dads, but all my dad wants to do is go fishing on Father's <laughs> Day. Hasn't been able to do it this week, so Zeke, looking like a good morning to get up early and head out, huh? Well, especially on the morning. It's going to be gorgeous for fishing, so definitely of, definitely tell your father to do that, Leah. <laughs> a lot of dads going to be happy. Julian, thank you very much. 609 coming up. We are in the 608 this morning, highlighting a fundraiser to help more students in southwest Wisconsin live like Levi. And we'll continue our storm coverage. We'll have a live report from one of the hardest hit communities. And as we go to break, we'll leave you with some of our viewer photos from last night. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. It was a dream. I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but I knew that the passion was going to make it not seem like work. Jupaca was really there for me, helping me kind of gain financial literacy, everything from the business loan to setting up the LLC. Jupaco really was, was a great guide and, and a resource for me getting this whole entire project off the ground. There's been a couple of classes when I'll walk in, and especially when it's a busy room and I, I start to get choked up. Those are the days when it's like, this is what I was supposed to do. You may hate the color rouge. Well, now it's sapphire blue. Why stick with something you despise? So in life, Culligan, your local water expert. You never know where adventure awaits. Like inside of every Kinder Joy. A yummy treat and dinosaur toy. From Jurassic World Dominion. In theaters June 10th. Kinder Joy. Joe Biden opened America's borders, increasing the flow of deadly drugs into our communities. Last year, over 105,000 people died of drug overdoses in America. Biden's putting our children and families at risk. Ron Johnson is warning everyone that drug traffickers are adding fentanyl to counterfeit pills, and it only takes one pill to kill. Please tell your children and support law enforcement. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and we will send you local breaking news as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. You are watching News 3 Now this morning. Continue our first warm weather coverage live from Boston this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Josh Spreider. We are surveying some of the damage from those possible tornadoes and severe weather that moved through the area overnight. Debris such as this from a power pole, which I actually found across the street from here in the parking lot of Mile Bluff Medical Center. Again, this is the south side of Boston along Highway 58. Uh, some of the area's hardest hit here. You can see where this possible tornado would have moved through the area overnight. Juneau County Fairgrounds and Veterans Memorial Park to my 
right over here. You can see where that possible tornado would have moved through the field, toppling over the bleachers and the fence before hitting and snapping off these power poles along with these trees along Highway 58, skipping across the highway and into the parking lot of the Mile Bluff Medical Center. The good news here this morning, the hospital virtually untouched. That's how close this storm was to making this even more of a disaster. This damage, though, still enough of a situation where the mayor of Mauston has declared a disaster for his community. The Wisconsin Emergency Management Team will be here to help them this morning with the local and state authorities here as well. The National Weather Service, we're told, will be out here this morning to assess the damage and figure out whether or not this was a confirmed tornado, guys. But Chris and Leah, the way that this is looking, this was a tornado and it caused quite a bit of damage here for this community of Mauston. Josh Breiner continuing to give us live looks of that damage every 10 minutes here on News 3 Now this morning. Really, really horrible, horrible damage up there. We're thinking of all those folks. Josh, thank you so much. All right, it is quarter after six this morning. We are in the 6084, Josh, looking ahead to a golf outing and fundraiser in honor of my brother Levi. This year marks the third annual Levi Lynchide Memorial Golf Outing. It is set to happen next Saturday, July 25th. Take a look at some photos from past events. This year, you can take part in either a nine hole or an 18 hole tournament during the day. Then an after party at night featuring a live auction, food and drinks. All are welcome at the back bar annex in Platteville where Levi used to work for everyone to come together and honor his memory. Whether you're actually golfing or just hanging out, uh, any money you put towards this is going to a phenomenal cause. That's the main part. We're just trying to keep his memory alive. Yeah, some pretty cool and unique items up for the auctions. Uh, all to raise money for Levi's Memorial Scholarship, along with his Sword of New Heights Biology Mentor Fund. They're both helping Wisconsin students further their education. We'll talk more about those coming up in the next half hour. We also have links up right now at channel3000.com with how you can sign up and donate if you can't make it out next Saturday. Can't believe we're already in the third year. You just saw a picture. Uh, Miss Hattie McLean golfed with us last year. The support, honestly, just leaves me a little speechless. I'm always surprised at how many folks come out and how many stories we hear about Levi, which may be more valuable than the financial support itself. I know my parents just live for those moments, so it means a lot to us. If you have time, we'd love to see you out there. Yeah, make it out. Hey, remember, uh, let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. Okay, let's switch gears. Check in with Julian Seawright on your first warm weather. Good morning, Julian. Good morning, guys. And to start things out for at least it's going to be a lot quieter as we get in throughout the rest of our Thursday. Today, he's going to be seeing a high around 86 degrees. It will be, be on to the breezy side of southwestern winds will be from 10 to 20 miles per hour. But the good news is plenty of blue skies. It will be a bit warm, but it's fine. If you want to get outside, go into the pool or even want to eat for lunch out into a patio, it's going to be perfect weather for that. But as we preview our weekend, 75 degrees for our Saturday and for Sunday, which will be Father's Day and even for Juneteenth, looking to be a bit more summer-like, but it's also going to be pretty nice for us as well. So we're not going to be looking at much in terms of humidity over the next couple of days, so it's going to be quiet, it's going to be dry, and on top of it, it is going to be warm, especially as we head into next week. So be prepared, folks. We're going to be back to some unseasonably warm temperatures as the 90s will be welcoming us into next week once again. But the good news is, until we get there, it's going to be pretty great for us. Now, as we take a look at our traffic starting things out for us so far we are looking all green along the belt line and as we go towards the interstate well we're looking pretty similar all green to start things out for us as we're heading out the door not too bad for the traffic world it's going to do for our traffic update back to you guys thanks julian around the state this morning uh, look at the difficult training to become a cadet for wisconsin state patrol the process takes about six months and they're always looking for more troopers Rob Romano this morning has more on the recruiting process. Keep your hands above your head, please. Keep your hands up. At Fort McCoy on Wednesday, Wisconsin State Patrol cadets with just over two weeks to graduate showed us their skills from making arrests to car chases. Cadet Davin Cotter says becoming a state trooper is about being there for people in the worst of times. It's not always about giving someone a ticket or anything like that, but it's being there on someone's worst day when nobody else can be. 17 of the Wisconsin State Patrol cadets graduating on June 30th at Fort McCoy have military experience. Cotter is a Marine veteran. I was a military police officer out in Japan for three and a half years. Uh, I was also a canine handler, canine trainer. Charlotte Gillen is sergeant and program director at the Wisconsin State Patrol Academy. She says each class of cadets starts with 50 people. 
even when it's been hard to recruit. As far as recruitment um, for city, state, as well as federal, the numbers are down. Typically, we start with 50 cadets. However, at the academy setting, it's a great time for them to find out if this is the place for them to be an officer, trooper, or inspector. So in this case, we are graduating 37 cadets. But no matter the numbers, one thing remains the same. Learning to make arrests, reverse overdoses, and chase criminals is all part of the job. Air Force Reservist and State Patrol Cadet Callie Brathel says she's going to be proud to be a Wisconsin State Trooper. Seeing how much I've grown over the past 26 weeks, and I can't wait to see myself at graduation. That was Rob Romano reporting. The state of Wisconsin has increased its use of social media advertising when trying to recruit cadets for the State Patrol Academy. The patrol is still accepting applications until July 8th. With inflation at a 40-year high, the Federal Reserve is taking more aggressive measures to slow down rising costs. Yesterday, they raised their benchmark interest rate by three-fourths of a percent. That's the biggest increase since 1994. Raising rates tends to slow spending by creating higher borrowing costs for credit cards cards, auto loans, and mortgages. The White House says it has confidence in the Fed to tackle inflation, but the Biden administration is also looking at ways it can help. Families, we understand gas prices are high. Now over $5 a gallon nationally, President Biden calling on seven U.S. oil refiners to ramp up production and stop making historically high profits off of Americans. We are taking action this morning, helping you with the top three inflation-proof foods. Livingwell.com says number three is ice cream. The price has only gone up about 3% over the last year. Number two, cheese. Consider buying in bulk and freezing the cheese. Number one on the list, tomatoes. They are up just 2% in the last year. They're an excellent source of antioxidants, which promote heart health and lower blood pressure. Potatoes and canned fish also made their list. I do believe those are all of the food groups you need. <laughs> I know. Uh, they've got it all. They basically got it all covered there. I'll live off ice cream and cheese. Hey, why not? Sure. <laughs> all right. Uh, coming up here on News 3 Now this morning, much more storm coverage ahead. We're getting a better idea of the extent of the damage this morning. Stay with us. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. Huge appliance savings are happening now at Furniture and Appliance Mart's $20 million truckload sale. Don't miss store-wide savings, including door busters, plus special buys up to 40% off at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley or off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. Shop with the fan experts at Madison Lighting to choose a quality fan that really cools your space. Indoors or out, and you'll love the chic way it looks. All fans are on sale till June 20th at Madison Lighting on Watts Road. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome. Sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard. Greeting every guest with all our heart. Crafting each meal with care. Believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today. From our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. Getting gear with 11% off everything at Menards. We've got your automotive needs covered from tools, towing, and accessories to maintenance and everything in between. Need ratchet straps? Got it. Wiper blades? Copy that. Motor oil? Done. Get your car clean with a new Snapper pressure washer. It comes with a maintenance-free pump and reliable Briggs & Stratton engine. All Snapper pressure washers are 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. We're not just massage envy. We're also facials that get your skin glowing envy. We're talking, dang girl, you look good kind of envy. All right, tell me your secret and lunch is on me. <laughs> Impress all your coworkers envy. I bet she's on that Himalayan pepper cleanse. How does she do it envy? So what's going on with this? That's because a regular massage envy facial routine is an amazing way to look and feel better. For that, I still got it going on kind of a feeling. Must be good genes. Massage and Bee Facials, where better begins. The Community Forum, for in-depth discussions on the matters that matter to you. For the record, Sunday morning at 10.30 on News 3 Now, sponsored by MG&E. 
Here's why it's smart to custom order your Ford SUV. We'll get to making it right away. You'll get an extra 1,000 order bonus plus incentive protection guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery and the features you choose. Want an EPA estimated 440 miles per tank at an escape? A 12 inch touchscreen in an edge? You got it in a Ford built your way. Order your new Explorer SUV and get a thousand retail order bonus cash on top of all public offers. Call for action only on News 3 Now. Massive savings are happening now at Ashley's $20 million truckload sale. Get doorbuster discounts up to 71% off, plus 60-month special financing with no money down on all in-stock merchandise. And bonus discounts only available in-store. Don't miss it at Ashley. We'll take a look at this. Gwen uh, sent in another cow picture for Leah. <laughs> People just know me. Don't, do I have like a shtick? Is this the third or the fourth straight cow picture we've shown? It's, it's the third, third. <laughs> straight cow picture. Because I was gone Monday. Hmm, can you get enough? <laughs> I don't think so. Are you complaining, Chris? Because these are good pics. <laughs> They're very nice pictures. They're very nice pictures. Don't let my, my pregnant paws there uh, tip my hand or anything. Chris, but. the animal lover over here. I love animals. I love them all. <laughs> They're all wonderful. <laughs> We're convinced. I'm a lover of all things. Just a shining light of positivity. You are. You Constance. are. We just we love you, Chris, and we love cow pictures. <laughs> so keep them coming, people. All um, right, hey, share your morning with us. Just use the hashtag minus three morning when you post on social media. And we'll <laughs> share our favorites. Tal's okay. Reno. 625. We also love Julian Seawright's forecast. <laughs> nice What's so sunny funny day. about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know exactly. I guess I just had the giggles this morning, but that was just hilarious. Um, <laughs> folks, the forecast for the next 10 days, to be honest with you, it's boring, but it's the boring that we all have been looking for. Lovely weather ahead, 80s, 70s, but next week is going to be hot to kick things off for us. Aside from that, folks, enjoy Father's Day weekend, but we'll have much more news and weather on the way after the break. Compliments my sunshiny attitude. <laughs> News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When the family can't get enough of your signature dish, get everything you need with Pick and Save Free Pickup with no surprise fees. So start your cart today. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. How do you use your energy? Giving back to your community? Fueling your drive to deliver hope for neighbors in need. At Alliant Energy, we're creating more clean, renewable energy every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about a brighter future. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. We go through a lot every day, and loose ceramides my barrier needs to seal in moisture. CeraVe facial moisturizers developed with dermatologists continuously deliver three essential ceramides to help restore my protective barrier so I can lock in moisture. With CeraVe, we can feel hydrated and look healthy all day. CeraVe facial moisturizing lotions from the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Dear gas prices, Toyota's hybrid lineup says, go take a hike because we bring efficiency with power and savings with style. Think you can stand in our way? We got this, Toyota hybrids. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Get inspired. Tour 30 custom homes and see the newest trends. The Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns, is open daily, June 17th through 26th. Visit madisonparadeofhomes.com for tickets and more information. 
Don't wait until the weekend to enjoy a thick charbroiled steak made to your liking. Make a weeknight steak night at High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. Well worth the short drive to Ridgeway. The challenges we face today feel monumental. Inflation, gas prices, and now an unthinkable threat to a woman's right to choose. I'm Alex Lazary, and I have a track record of getting things done. That's how you know I'll work for you. By lowering prescription drug prices, putting more money into people's pockets, and protecting every woman's right to choose, no matter what. This is why we must defeat Ron Johnson and start meeting our challenges head on. That's why I approve this message. Save app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, all for prices that are lower than low. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Two nights of severe storms in one week. This morning, we are assessing the damage left behind and the problems still ahead for those most impacted. One of the area's hardest hit was here in Mostyn. We are live with a look at the damage as the National Weather Service will be here this morning. And now that the storms have swept through, we're looking at much more blue skies in the head. We'll take a look at our forecast coming up. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynch. And thanks for waking up with us. We start with breaking news this morning. The mayor of Mostyn releasing a disaster declaration as crews clean up from a reported tornado that hit that city. Severe weather cleanup leaving uh, a lot of work for crews across the state this morning. Perhaps the most severe, though, in Mostyn. The National Weather Service will be headed there this morning to confirm those reports of a tornado. This is video from a mobile home park in the area where there are reports that at least six families have been displaced. Four of those units considered unlivable. About eight of them have trees on them. Among buildings damaged in the area, some motels, uh, a hospital barely avoided any damage yesterday. And this is making it pretty tough this morning for anyone who's displaced. Josh Spreider is live in Mostyn. He's been reporting on the damage he's seeing all morning long, continuing to move around the city. Josh, where are you at now? Hey guys, good morning. So we are just south of the interstate right now. We've moved northeast from the hospital where we showed you that damage earlier. This is a restaurant behind me. You can see the ceiling of the Roman Castle Italian restaurant, or the roof rather, peeled back like a soup can. Actually at the back part of this parking lot, you can see what looks like is part of that roof here this morning. Again, this is some of the damage that we've been seeing here in the city of Mostyn this morning. Again, we're on the northeast side now where we can see where the storm had moved through. A lot of images such as that this morning, the snapped off trees and power lines as well. Most of the area streets have since reopened from overnight as mostly uh, were closed here due to some of the flooding and also some of the damage here in the city of Massa. Now, because of that damage, according to the Wisconsin Emergency Management, the State Emergency Operations Center is operating at a level three right now, which means they're helping local agencies assess the damage. We have several people who are already out in the field and they're working closely with county and tribal emergency managers throughout the state who have been impacted by this in order to help them really start to assess uh, what damage has occurred and, and really identify if there might be resource requirements that exceed what's currently available to them. Now, we have seen a lot of folks out and about trying to assess the damage this morning. Crews will be out here from the National Weather Service uh, here within the next few hours to assess that damage and decide whether or not it was indeed a tornado that moved through this community last night, guys. But looking at some of the damage we've seen this morning, I would not be surprised if that was the case. We'll look for more coverage here on News 3 Now and Channel3000.com throughout the day. Josh Prider live in Mostyn. We appreciate all of your coverage this morning, Josh. Thank you. Now let's take a look at outages in that area. Around 17, excuse me, 15,000 people in central Wisconsin without power this morning. Crews have been able to restore power to many in Green Lake County. The numbers in Dodge and Marquette counties also down significantly from overnight. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Julian C. right now. He has 
some of the storm damage reports from overnight. Hey, Julian. That's right, and this is just some, as Chris had just mentioned. It's not all of the reports that we have as, as the National Weather Service is still currently looking to do some surveys of some of the damage to uh, categories, whether or not we have even seen a tornado that we had reports of from yesterday's event. But you can just see where that center of the wind damage really was, just north of the Dells, far from Dane County. Even though Dane County had a couple of instances of some wind damage that was reported, you can see it was really centered into the central areas of Wisconsin for us. And where Josh is as of right now, we have three separate reports of damage in Mawson in itself, where we were looking for it to be one of the more crucial areas that was hit and impacted by those storms just yesterday. And here's a quick couple of images as well given to us by Arlene Cattle. You can see just this large tree that was completely ripped out of the ground and toppled over due to those winds that moved through. And then here's another one where we have a car that is really hard to even recognize at this point after the multiple uh, trees that have broken and just completely toppled this car just yesterday. And then down the street from myself, we had wind damage that had broken this tree, which has ripped itself down and split it in half as well. Just goes to show you some of the wind damage and even the storm damage in itself that we saw from yesterday. But we'll talk more about the good news of the weather that we're going to be seeing for the next few days in a few moments, guys. All right, thanks, Julian. There is also damage in north central Wisconsin this morning in Marathon. County. Wausau is still dealing with damage from storms that rolled through early Wednesday morning. The National Weather Service says wind gusts reached 69 miles an hour. Many trees were blown down and at one point more than 8,000 people were without power. No injuries were reported. A resident in Wapaka County also reporting nearly half a million dollars in damage on their property from thunderstorms. So we got trees that landed on, I got my grandma lives in the back and they're laying on her house and that's totaled and moved and you can see the wind just pushed it right off its foundation. Storms leaving significant damage in Atagami County from the town of Seymour through the village of Howard. Last night, Green Bay police telling people not to travel unless absolutely necessary because of damage and flooding. Another issue, power outages left stoplights out causing multiple car crashes with injuries. Back here in Dane County, Madison is uh, largely spared from damage and outages from this line of storms, but crews are still working to restore power loss from Mondays. Crews have been working 16-hour shifts in 90-degree heat, struggling to get to each of the more than 300 outages that initially knocked out power to 20,000 customers. They suspended the estimated time of restored power that they usually provide customers. Here's why. We don't want to put something out there and have people expecting that, okay, it's going to be taken care of by this time, and then it's not, and, you know, well, what happened? What's going on? Last night, MG&E said they have started listing some estimated restoration times for outages that impact more than a single customer. Those single outages likely won't have power restored until midnight on Friday. Yeah, those power outages pushing people out of their homes and leaving them having to look somewhere else to just complete their daily tasks. I live down the street over there uh, in sort of my home office. Uh, we've got a tree that sort of was on our neighbor's property and uh, fell down across our garage and hit my office yesterday. So took down some internet lines, which is why I'm uh, here. Crescendo Coffee Bar says it's seen customers for more than just coffee this week. They faced their own challenges too after the coffee shop lost power. They say they had to throw out food and liquids that they couldn't keep cold. With all the downed trees and branches, the city of Monona offering up storm debris pickup. The city is asking anyone with fallen brush to pilot at the curb. Crews will pass through each street multiple times daily until July 1st. Okay, we want to get back to Julian now with a much quieter Thursday on tap and your certified most accurate forecast. Hi, Julian. And that's right. That's exactly what we have. A bit of some haze as we're waking up this morning here in Madison, but at least we have a beautiful sunrise here as we're kicking things off. Now, taking a look at our current conditions, it's 66 degrees as of right now. Winds aren't too bad, but we are still dealing with a little bit of humidity as we're starting things off for us. Over the last 24 hours, we've seen significant decrease in temperatures as it has been a double digit decrease in or just cooler over the last 24 hours here in southern Wisconsin, which just goes to show you just how hot and warm it was to start things off for our Wednesday morning temperatures in southern Wisconsin 64 in Janesville and upper to lower 60s as we get into the western side of Wisconsin as of right now with dew points still showing a bit of some humidity, but not overly muggy as we're starting things off for us planning out the rest of today. We're going to see the humidity start to taper off quite a bit as we head into the rest of our afternoon.
afternoon, but temperatures will be into the middle and upper 80s, but still going to feel a bit more like summer and not nearly as muggy as it has over the last couple of days. As we take a look, thanks to that cold front, which had brought those storms, it cooled things down just a hair for us as we're waking up to our Thursday, but we're looking for another one. It's going to be bringing in some more cooler temperatures as we get into the weekend, which is showing for our Saturday to, that's right, see, 75 degrees for us, which we haven't had in quite a little while. And then as we get into our Father's Day or Juneteenth, Outdoor celebrations are definitely going to be welcomed as we're seeing 84 degrees for us, and it is going to be plenty of blue skies in our forecast for us through the next few days. So it is kind of boring, but at the same time, it's something that we've been looking forward to because the last three days have been so hectic and stressful. So we're looking at much quieter conditions, plenty of sunshine. It's going to be drier, and we are looking for next week to be bringing in some more heat as we are going to be very unseasonably warm going into the start of next week, and we will start to see those temperatures really start to spike quite a bit as we start off into Monday. 92 degrees for us on Monday, 94 for Tuesday, but folks, just don't think about that just yet. Try to get to the weekend and enjoy it as much as you can because we are going to be seeing that heat really welcome us next week. But hey, let's enjoy the calm and cool while we have it as we get into this weekend, guys. All right, Julian Seawright, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. The search for two missing Milwaukee men swept up in the Kinnikinnick River will continue into its fourth day this morning. The men had jumped into a fast-moving drainage ditch Monday night to save a child who had fallen in. The body of 10-year-old Mohammed Armin Rashdullah was found yesterday. Crews are still searching for his father and a neighbor and are now calling it a recovery mission. Well, bad news for the baby formula shortage after less than two weeks of being operational following a months long closure. Flooding from storms in Sturgis, Michigan has caused Abbott to halt baby formula production. Abbott says the flooding is inside the plant. They say production and distribution of any new product will likely be delayed now for a few weeks. Oh, just devastating to hear for new yeah. moms there. Not helping at all. 640, let's take a live look outside. You heard Julian, just a gorgeous Thursday on tap. Well deserved after the week we've had. He's going to take a look at your Father's Day forecast as well, give you all the details you need to know for the next couple of days after the break. And cats left in the heat. How many officers had to rescue them in Minnesota? Huge appliance savings are happening now at Furniture and Appliance Mart's $20 million truckload sale. Don't miss store-wide savings, including doorbusters, plus special buys up to 40% off at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. It's always time for Papa Murphy's. And now you can get any medium two-topping pizza for just $6.99. Now that's medium. Papa Murphy's. We make great pizza so you can make the pizza great. Order online today at papamurphys.com. Shop with the fan experts at Madison Lighting to choose a quality fan that really cools your space. Indoors or out, and you'll love the chic way it looks. All fans are on sale till June 20th at Madison Lighting on Watts Road. It's Thursday's Daily Deals at Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee Shredded Cheese, four for only $5. Thomas's Original English Muffins, only $1.88. A Tenderloin Sandwich from Market Grill, only $5. And buy one, get one free, two-entree Chinese meal. Thursday only. For more ways to save on hundreds of items every day at Hy-Vee, check out our monthly catalog, our weekly ad, and scan the QR code to visit hyveedeals.com for even more deals. There's a reason President Trump endorsed Tim Michaels for governor. I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who helped build a great Wisconsin company and created thousands of jobs. President Trump called Tim Michaels an America first conservative who will support the Second Amendment, honor law enforcement, and stand strong against the woke mob. If you want to see Madison turned upside down, then I'm asking for your vote. Tim Michaels, endorsed by President Trump for governor. There are moments in life, special moments. Moments to share. Moments to celebrate. Share the love. Celebrate the moment. Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. 
massive savings are happening now at Ashley's $20 million truckload sale. Get doorbuster discounts up to 71% off, plus 60-month special financing with no money down on all in-stock merchandise. And bonus discounts only available in-store. Don't miss it at Ashley. A local nonprofit celebrates 10 years. We are small but mighty. Eric Franke explains the critical help Geo's Garden gives to families of kids with special needs. It's amazing to see the impact that Geo's has had. And what could come next tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Want to know right now what the weather will be like tomorrow? Download the First Warren Weather app and you'll get my customized forecast for tonight and tomorrow. The First Warren Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. You are watching News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. We're in the 608 this morning, looking ahead to a golf outing and a fundraiser in honor of my brother Levi. This year marks the third annual Levi Lynchide Memorial Golf Outing. It's set to happen next Saturday, July 25th, with a few different ways to come together and give back. First, you can enjoy either a 9 or 18 hole golf tournament at Cole Acres in Cuba City. The 9 hole tournament does still have spots available. Then the after party is happening later in the day at the back bar in the annex in Platteville. That's where Levi worked with now owner Squeak Wallenhorst, one of his best friends. Squeak says it's always amazing to see the community coming together, not only to remember Levi, but to keep his positive attitude going forward. It's great to keep a tournament going and to have it be successful every year is just an incredible thing. Just so many people wanting to come out and celebrate him. There's also a silent and live auction at the back bar. It includes items like what you're looking at right there. Check out what family friend Larry donated. He uh, gave us a Wisconsin-themed bar. It's so it's cool. really nice. It's really nice, folks. All this money raised goes to Levi's Memorial Scholarship for students at Highland High School going into health-related fields and to the Soar to New Heights Biology Mentor Fund for students at UW-Platteville where Levi graduated. Now we also have links up on channel3000.com with how you can sign up for the golf fundraiser and how to donate if you can't make it out Saturday. I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank everybody who has helped us put this together over the last three years. Everybody who's donated and supported and come out and shared their memories of Levi. They make my parents' days. Uh, they get a little teary-eyed. I didn't think I was going to do that today, but uh, we just love to hear those stories about Levi. It's, it's almost better than the financial support. Well, to lighten things up a little bit, you, you've been taking lessons. Yeah. You've been taking <laughs> golf lessons. So uh, don't go hustling anybody this weekend, huh? I will say they were four lessons, uh, hey. and my husband was not really impressed, so I don't know <laughs> that I'm going to be able okay. to hustle anybody, but I will be out there trying my best. If you want to come beat me, would love to have you. <laughs> yeah, the more people who can show up, the better. Yes. Uh, uh, make it out, please, if you can. If you can't, plenty of ways to participate and uh, show your love for Levi uh, from wherever you are. We so appreciate it. All right, so if you have an idea for Josh for In the 608, reach out to him on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. 646 now in Milwaukee this morning. City leaders spent the day walking Governor Tony Evers through the Garden Homes neighborhood. They were pointing out how the area needs help to improve. A lot of people here are working hard to make this uh, neighborhood really a special place again. And, uh, and I, I just want to be part, I, the state of Wisconsin needs to be a partner in that. With public safety as a top concern, local leaders say it will take changes to housing, health care, transportation, and economic development to bring long-lasting change. And it's something the city says they can't tackle alone. Governor Evers says he's coming back to Madison with plenty of new ideas. Minnesota also experiencing record heat this week and the Humane Society there having to make a unique rescue at a rest stop. A passerby noticed a car there was full of 47 cats yesterday morning. You heard that right, while a heat warning was in effect. The state patrol helped rescue the cats. Investigators say the owner had been living inside their car, again, with all 47 cats for a while, but the owner was cooperative in handing them over to investigators. Thankfully, it was still early enough in the morning where the heat really hadn't started to kick in, so that was working in our favor. The cats are now being cared for and evaluated by the Animal Humane Society. They will eventually go up for adoption. 
Time now to check in with Julian Seawright and your certified most accurate forecast. Calmer weather ahead, right? That's right. It's going to be, wow, you just had to take a shot of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sunrise, that's, Julian. I know, right? And that's exactly <laughs> what we finally get for today. Finally. Gotta love that. Um, so as we get into the rest of today, folks, just know we're looking at a beautiful sunrise right now, and there's going to be plenty of blue skies as we get into the rest of today as well. Temperatures will be rather warm, but it won't be too warm for us. 86 degrees, not a whole lot of humidity, though it will be felt. It's not going to be overly muggy like it has been over the past couple of days for us. And this weekend is going to be shaping up to be oh so pleasant, especially for Saturday. 75 degrees for us, plenty of sun once again, not even going to be looking at much of a breeze. Then as we roll into Father's Day or Juneteenth, we're looking at 84 degrees for us mostly sunny, still on the warmer side of things, but it's not going to be like what we're going to see heading into next week because that's when we're really going to start to heat things back up. So enjoy the next four days. It's definitely a gift after the last three that we've had. It's been stressful. <laughs> we've been at the edge of our seats. Now the storms are over and we're looking at plenty of sunshine and dry and honestly, it's a boring forecast, but at least I can try to give you a little bit of energy about how exciting it is that we are going to be boring for a little while. Then going into Monday and Tuesday, we are back into some 90s for us folks and we're going to maintain that warm trend of really some summer like feels heading into next week. And don't forget, Tuesday will be our first true day of summer, and we are definitely welcoming it in true fashion here in Wisconsin at 94 degrees. Okay, Julian Seawright, Sunrise Julian, thank you very much. <laughs> 6.49 now coming up in the morning sprint to look at the moment when the storms from last night hit the Merrimack Ferry. First, we want to say happy birthday to Braxton and Charlotte and everybody turning three today. Thanks for celebrating with News 3 Now this morning. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It's a short drive to big adventure at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in the Port of Dubuque. General admission gets you access to all exhibits for two consecutive days. Plan your adventure at rivermuseum.com. You never know where adventure awaits. Like inside of every Kinder Joy. A yummy treat and dinosaur toy from Jurassic World Dominion in theaters June 10th. Kinder Joy. Ubrel-V helps you fight migraine attacks. You do it all. One dose of Ubrel-V quickly stops migraine in its tracks within two hours. Do not take with strong CYP384 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Ask about Ubrel-V anytime, anywhere, migraine medicine. Do you have a coffee smile? Drinking coffee causes yellow teeth for thousands of people just like you. And whitening toothpaste just doesn't make those stains go away. Introducing Power Swabs, the first teeth whitening system that lifts coffee stains off your teeth in less than five Five minutes without whitening strips or trays. The power swabs were so easy to use. I don't have to have strips sitting on my face for an hour. I don't have to have a foam tray where I feel like I'm going to gag or I'm going to go play football. I've tried like every over-the-counter whitening because you know I'm one of those people that I'm like obsessed with white teeth. So with the strips I've used in the past, most of them are like you got to leave it on for 30 minutes and the whole experience is just not comfortable. But with power swabs, I just snapped it open and rubbed it on and it was good to go. It just didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab <laughs> and I just got a rub it on my teeth, and that was it. The secret is a tooth detergent and whitening agent developed by Dr. Martin Ginnicker that lifts stains off of your teeth. Power Swabs remove stains on natural teeth, veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. The best part is you just swab your teeth for five minutes and you'll have whiter teeth. No more sitting at home with a whitening strip or tray in your mouth for 30 minutes twice a day. When I used these whitening strips, I noticed when I would drink, I would get this crazy sensitivity. It would go right to my brain and I'm like, ah, I hate this. So why do I have to go through the monstrosity of this pain just because I want to whiten my teeth. With power swabs, there was zero sensitivity. Within the first day with the power swab, I noticed there was a difference. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's going to be wider. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Whiten your teeth today by ordering power swabs and receive 40% off the regular price. Yes, 40% off the regular price. Shipping is free, plus you'll receive a free quick stick pen. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. It's
It's time to climb, build, discover, and play at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium's newest exhibit, Live, Work, and Play in Harmony with Nature at Forever Forest, now open. For tickets, visit rivermuseum.com. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. We start with more coverage of those severe storms that rolled across Wisconsin yesterday. In Merrimack, DOT footage showing the moment that a storm rolled into the area. Take a look at this. The rain so intense you can barely see the ground, and when it finally moves out, you can see debris from nearby trees scattered around the road. I'm Josh Ryder live in Moston where we're getting a better look at some of that damage from those overnight storms, severe weather and possible tornadoes here. You can see two of those hotels that received some of the damage from that storm. Their roofs uh, receiving a lot of damage. That debris field coming all the way across here. A light post even on its side this morning. The National Weather Service will be out here to assess the damage and decide whether or not it was indeed a tornado that moved through here. We'll have updates on the Channel 3000 mobile app. Forward Madison Soccer. Well, they are going to take on uh, the German soccer club, SC Paderborn, tonight. It was scheduled for last night, but the weather delayed it. It is taking place same time, 7 o'clock, and tickets from last night will be honored this evening. A former Marquette County Sheriff's deputy accused of soliciting sex from a minor now bound over for trial. Travis Bittleman charged with soliciting in intimate representation from a minor, using a computer to facilitate a child's sex crime, and using a firearm while intoxicated. Records show he waived his right to a preliminary hearing, and the court found probable cause he committed the felony. The Madison School District modifying its COVID-19 mask protocols. In a message to parents, the district says, effective at the start of the summer semester next Monday, it will transition from required use to highly recommended. This decision comes after continued reviews of current metrics and recent CDC guidance. According to the Department of Transportation, the Todd Drive ramp expected to reopen tonight. It's been closed since mid-May. All current construction on Todd Drive also scheduled to be done by the end of the month. However, the DOT hasn't said if this week's weather has delayed that schedule. An FDA medical panel recommending both Moderna and Pfizer's COVID vaccines for children five and under. Currently, it's the only U.S. age group still ineligible for vaccines. The CDC still has to weigh in on this with final approval that could be available early next week. The families of two Americans fighting in Ukraine say the men have been missing now for more than a week. Andy Wynn, who served in the Marines, and Alexander Druki, an Iraq war vet, volunteered to fight. According to a fellow fighter, they were engaged in battle alongside Ukrainian forces in a town north of Kharkiv on June 9th. They are presumed to be prisoners of war, but that has not been confirmed. The man accused of killing 10 black people at a Buffalo, New York supermarket is set to make an initial court appearance in federal court today. It comes as the Justice Department filed 26 federal hate crimes and firearms charges against the 18-year-old, some of which carry the possibility of the death penalty. The DOJ and FBI say even with the new charges, the investigation is still ongoing. And taking a quick look at wrapping up our weather force. It's going to be quite boring, but boring is good for right now. Be excited at how boring it's going to be because we're looking at plenty of sunshine. It's going to be quiet after the week that we've had so far. And then the warmth is going to be back on the way. Taking a look at our next 10 days. Well, the next two are going to be into the 80s, back to the 70s for Saturday. And then as we kick off Father's Day in Juneteenth, we're back into some more summer-like feels. And then next week, we're waking up to summer and to really seeing those nice back into forecast guys all right julian thank you very much and thanks for joining us on this thursday folks stay tuned for more coverage of those storms from last night as we determine how many tornadoes indeed touched down in wisconsin we'll follow up with more coverage right here on news 3 now and on channel 3000.com